actually have a rabbit because they're almost identical when it comes to body style. As, I'm sorry, you have, oh, you have a cat if they are lined up side by side because a rabbit and a cat are almost identical body style. <laughs> All right? You don't sound gross. <laughs> in Europe, they actually keep the paws on and the head on when you order rabbits so you don't get a cat that you can say that it's not. Here in the United States, we have reputable dealers, but they still leave the kidneys intact. If they're offset, that's rabbit. If they are lined up straight across, that's cat. <laughs> so, now you know the more you know. All right? So we're going to go ahead and take out the kidneys. Like that. Okay. Now, if you take a look at the scapula right here, right here where the forequarter is, you can see how free flowing it is. That's also how cats can fall from long distances and hit the ground and they don't break their front legs. So then they reach that actually works as a shock absorber. All right. So, take the forequarter, cut underneath the scapula, cut through, and then cut through the collarbone. All right. We're gonna leave these whole, just like this. We're gonna package them all up whole, and we're gonna use it for a rabbit rehab later on. All right? The hind legs, you're gonna look at it like a chicken, okay? Take it from this side, cut around the pelvic bone, top the joint, cut through the joint, then there's a little rabbit oyster right there. <laughs> Okay, rabbit legs. We're gonna fabricate some of these legs down to so they're boneless, but not all, just a few. And then I'm only gonna do half this rabbit, so you guys will do it. Okay. And then right across the back is the loin. This whole animal is just like the other animals you break down. Or if I cut it right here between the 12th and 13th rib, I have a ribeye, right? A little tiny rabbit ribeye steak. Right? <laughs> but we're gonna take the loin all the way out. So we're gonna go down the backbone, where that loin would be for, for ribeyes, right? All the way down to where the, the uh, short loin would be the, where I get the, the little tiny rabbit New York strips. Okay? It's different, what's that? Awesome. Something's probably up against the fan in one of the regions. I'll get it. You want me to go? All right. So as we cut down, no. Oh. So as I'm removing the loins right across the rib cage and down the vertebrae over here. Also removing this flap that goes around the outside. So then on the inside, right here, is a tiny rabbit tender one. On the inside. Alright. So everything is where it should be, just like it would be in a, in a cow, a pig. Cat. Okay. You know, of course, if I cut it right here, all the way through, I'd have rabbit porterhouse steaks. If I cut it from the tenderloin here to the tip, I'd have rabbit T-bone steaks. Right? It's all the same, same animal, same muscle structure. So, here's my little rabbit tenderloin. Here's the rabbit. Here's a rabbit loin with a belly flap on it. See the belly flap? See how it kind of peels away? The membrane, you have to cut it right down here because it's attached a little bit. But this belly flap is good for grind. It's good meat, but you don't want to eat it this way because it's really tough. So we're gonna keep this and grind it, all right? This is the loin. This is the most expensive part of the, of the rabbit, all right? We want to take care of this. We don't want to grind this. We're gonna brine it and use it as a whole muscle piece. But it has a little bit of silver skin on it. All right, and to get that silver skin off, you take it so the silver skin is down, trim down to the silver skin, and you 
actually kind of treat it like you would a trout or a piece of floundering, taking the skin off of it, right? Just kind of wiggle, you know, wiggle it, pull the silver skin off, okay? So it's off that, okay? So then you have your tenderloin, you have your loin, fore quarter, hind quarter, belly flap, all right? So once you break it all down, keep all these things separate, call me over and I'll show you how to separate them and what to do with what, okay?